Welcome back to this full body functional flexibility flow. So this is going to really help you to release any tightness, tension or any stress in the body so we can get your body flowing naturally and with better movement. So when you're ready, come to the bottom of your mat and we're going to take a moment to breathe and start to rotate through the neck. Inhaling, drawing the head over to the right hand side and releasing, inhaling up and over and releasing. Really working with what feels comfortable in your neck all the way up and over, relaxing the shoulders here and then switching direction, inhaling all the way over to the side, exhaling. So really thinking of drawing the ear towards the shoulder but not drawing the shoulder towards the ear. Inhale and exhale for the last round. From here, coming back to center, looking over your right shoulder and then looking over your left. Inhale over to your right. Exhale, release over to your left. Release the chin down to the chest and then inhale, draw the head up. So opening up through the front of the throat and the back of the neck, inhaling and exhaling. Let's start to shrug those shoulders back now. So drawing the shoulders up towards the ears and then releasing them. Inhaling and exhaling. It's really important we work with that breath because that's going to help us to relax the body and release. Deep breaths in and out and then returning in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's do this a couple more times. Inhaling and exhaling. Deep breaths in and then sweep the arms out to the side. Take your feet about hip width apart and let's take some nice big sweeps across the body. I always imagine I'm holding a discus here and throwing that discus away, away with all those emotions, all that energy, anything negative. Just imagine throwing it away and at the same time opening up the body. So you should be really sweeping through and opening up, reaching up, up and over the head now and finding that length and stretch in the side body now. So really finding the release into the ribs, into the lats, nice deep breaths in up into those toes, finding that flexion, and then take the feet out to the side and sweep the arms up high to the sky and release. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. So start to open up into the hips, into those inner thighs, into the knees, the ankles, and obviously up into the shoulders. Breathe it out. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Great work. Take the hands back to the hips. Take the feet out a little bit wider. And we're going to send the bum back to one side and then over to the other side. So make sure as you go into this side lunge here, we're sending the bum backwards rather than over. So we're not pushing too hard into the knees. We're sending it into the hips, inhaling and exhaling. Nice deep breaths in and out. And really thinking of engaging the core as well. So make sure it's not all in the back. You're using your bottom, you're using your tummy muscles. From here, turn to face the top of your mat into this nice low lunge, just sending the hips down and then very gently releasing back. So we're not fully extending that front leg. We're just finding a little stretch and reach. Inhale as you come forward and exhale as you release back. Getting a little bit of toe flexion here, ankle flexion, and then little bounces now. So just opening up into the hip flexors, inhaling and exhaling here. And then let's switch sides. Take the right foot forward and then let's take it forwards and backwards again. So inhaling and exhaling. So again, you can see I'm not fully extending this leg. I'm just finding a little gentle movement through the knee. Good. Deep breaths in and out. And then we're going to stay in that low lunge, taking some nice little pulses here, opening up those hip flexors before stepping to the top of our mat. So grounding down into our fingertips and we're going to rise up through the toes. So we're really looking to keep the back of the body long and strong. Now, if you need a little bit more support here, you can take some blocks or books underneath your hands here. So we're pushing up through the toes, trying not to bend the knees here. So it's really working through that posterior chain and then maybe pedaling out through the backs of those heels and toes. Nice deep breaths in and out here. Inhaling and exhaling. From here, take a nice deep breath in and then we're going to step the feet back coming into our down dog. So again, let's pedal out that back of the down dog. Inhaling and exhaling. 
finding a little bit more of a stretch coming into the bottom and back perhaps inhale and exhale so from here let's ground down into the heels step the feet back up to the top of the mat releasing the body and slowly rolling up through the vertebra before reaching up high to the sky deep breath in and then we're going to take some little pulses back into the scapula here so into the shoulders reaching back little pulses hands crossed over nice deep breaths in and out and then take the hands to the lower back take a gentle back bend before sliding the hands down the front of the legs and releasing inhale gentle back bend and then exhale release inhaling into our baby back bend exhaling and releasing nice deep breaths in and this time we'll exhale bring the arms up above you take the hands behind you, the nape of your neck taking this little stretch into the back of the arms draw the tummy muscles in and now scoop the belly in draw the elbows down towards the knees and then we're going to release take the hands to the floor and releasing the head step the feet back coming into our plank nice deep breaths in and then from here we're just going to hold and really engage this core here so broadening the shoulders tucking the tailbone under before stepping the right foot to the outside of the right hand coming into this low extended lizard lunge little pulses again here and now let's take some circles into those hips so circling out the hips here for four for three for two and one and then we're going to revert into the other direction and then release the back knee down take your right arm up high to the sky nice deep stretch opening up the torso before reaching the right hand towards the back foot here inhaling and as you exhale ground the hands down come down onto your forearms looking ahead low lizard inhaling and exhaling walk it back up take the hands back in tucking the toe in coming into that low lunge before stepping back and releasing bending into the knees wave the body so we're articulating through the spine coming into that plank and return so inhale wave the bottom up and articulate forward a couple more here up and over roll it out and then from here take the left foot to the outside of the left hand and we'll take those gentle bounces again so just opening up into those hip flexors inhaling and exhaling circling out in one direction in through the hip and then we'll be circling back in the other direction take a nice deep breath in and as we exhale send that foot back look ahead deep breath in and then let's wave the body forward again looking ahead lift the chest up roll the shoulders back inhaling and then exhale come into child's pose nice deep breath in and exhale it out coming onto our fingertips opening up the shoulders we're just going to take a nice deep breath here before coming round grounding into the right hand and taking the left leg out to the side right arm reaches over and then from here sweep the arm over to the other side of the body reaching over take a deep breath in taking the arms back out to the side this time take the right arm to your right heel inhaling finding a gentle back bend here before exhaling and then release now we're going to take the right hand all the way over to the inside of the left leg and left arm up high to the sky for this twist inhaling and exhaling grounding it down walking the hands over switching sides nice deep breath in sweep the right arm up high to the sky opening up the side body inhale and exhale come up to the other side reaching over big side stretch and then exhale take the left hand behind you right arm back inhale and then from here deep breath in exhale release take the arms all the way forward and take the left hand inside of the right leg this time and the right arm up high to the sky deep breath in and as you exhale ground back down 
Take a moment here, tucking the toes in. And from here, we're going to sit up tall, coming into our version of camel. So half camel, right hand back, left arm overhead. Inhale, driving the hips forward. Making sure we keep those glutes nice and soft, switching sides. So left hand to left heel, lifting that chest up to the sky. And release. Take the hands back to the front of your mat. So from here, coming into that tabletop position, tucking the toes under, rolling into down dog. Right leg up to the sky, open up the hips. Really finding this nice deep stretch into the hips here. Inhale, straightening out the left arm. And then exhale, draw the right leg to the back of the arm. From here, scoot round as though you're coming into a side plank. Extend the right leg underneath you, keeping away from the floor. And then taking some little leg lifts and lowers. So you're lifting that leg up. So really working the inner thigh here. Tuck the feet in together now. And we're going to come into our L sit position. So coming up, we're going to press up into reverse plank, inhaling maybe looking down the chest or if you prefer you can release the head back whichever feels most comfortable for you here engaging the core and then exhale come back into our sit position before scooting the bum forward driving the hips up into tabletop from here we're going to drive the hips back now see if you can lift the bottom up into a full L sit and then drive the hips up repeat again and if you can take feet off the floor, by all means do, but for everybody else, just keep those feet on the ground. Really thinking about scooping in the belly as you draw the hips back for that L sit. And as you exhale, still engaging the glutes, engaging the core as we drive up into that tabletop. From here, release the bottom to the floor. Come round to the front of your mat again, coming into that plank position. Drive back up into down dog, inhaling. Left leg up to the sky, open up into wild thing. Straightening out the right arm, inhaling. Opening up those hips, exhaling. Inhale. And as you exhale, left knee comes in and around. So we're sweeping underneath us. Taking those leg lowers and lifts, inhaling and exhaling, engaging that inner thigh. Sweep the hands back round to centre and now crossing the legs, we're going to come all the way back over, coming back into our tabletop position. If you need to adjust yourself on the mat, please do. Rolling yourself up and out into reverse plank, pointing the toes, maybe looking down or looking back, whichever is most comfortable. Coming back into the owl position before driving the hips up into tabletop, opening up the hips, squeezing the glutes, engaging the thighs, drive the hips back, L sit and up into tabletop. So exhale as you press up into tabletop, inhale as you draw your L sit, exhale, inhale. This time releasing the bottom to the floor, take the feet together for Baddha so this butterfly pose. Elbows out to the side, nice deep breath in, inhaling, exhaling. As you inhale and exhale, we can take some little pulses to really work into those hips. Great work, deep breaths in, really try to relax the shoulders and then roll the body up nice and tall. From here, we'll take a nice deep breath in. And draw the right foot inside the left thigh as we drive up into the shin for half wild thing. Inhaling. Exhale, sweep the arm around, opening up the chest, opening up the shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling all the way around. This time, deep breath in, open. Reversing the arm in the other direction all the way around. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. Great work. As you release, take your left hand down to the ground, scooting the knees around, coming back into plank. Inhale. Exhale. Draw those tummy muscles in. Inhaling. And now bend into the knees, jumping to the top of your mat, coming into our yogi squat. So get nice and low, opening the hips. Working into the flexion into ankles. Good. Deep breath here. You can have a little wiggle side to side here if that feels good. Inhale. Ground the hands down now. And from here we're going into a little straddle fold. So 
inhale rise take the right arm up to the sky left hand to the outside of the ankle and then switch sides so coming back in we're going to take the hands to the top of the mat again and then slowly lower the bottom and release so as you exhale you drive the hips up and as you inhale you send the bum down so we're just finding this lovely mobility into the hips into the knees the ankles and toes great work from here releasing all the way down now onto your bottom and now let's take the left leg inside of the right thigh opening up for half wild thing inhale exhale sweeping the arm all the way around it doesn't matter which direction you go we can go one way and then you can reverse accordingly okay and then switch direction all the way the other way inhaling and exhaling And then finally, as we inhale and exhale, you're going to take the hands to the mat for me, coming into our plank again, sending the bum back, sending the right foot forward for a low lunge. So reaching the arms up high to the sky, taking a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to frame the foot, send the back knee down and release that leg. Back is tall, chest is lifted. Exhale. Now this time we're going to rise. We're going to push up through that right foot and bring the left leg in halfway for pyramid. So this triangle shape and then take the left leg up above you. So we're coming into our prep three of warrior three, taking the arms out to the side, ground the hands back down, dropping the back foot to the floor. Inhale, rise. So we're in this knee link crescent. Exhale, take the hands back down, take both feet back for me now. And from here, we're going to take a baby back bend again. So grounding down into our forearms and we're going to take our left arm to our right foot. So we're grabbing hold of the right foot here, pressing down in that right forearm, finding this lovely little back bend, inhaling and exhaling. Release the knee down, release the forearms down, and now come back out into your hands. Step the right foot forward, right arm up high to the sky, deep breath in. And then take the hand inside the thigh, pressing the thigh out so you're onto the outer blade of the foot. Come down to your forearms, inhaling. And then as you exhale, draw the left foot towards your bottom. Release the foot back down, walk the hands back in and step it back. Bending into the knees, waving the body all the way forward, inhaling into cobra. Exhale, tucking the toes in, release down dog. Exhaling and then stepping the left foot to the front of your mat. Coming again into our crescent lunge. So reaching up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, framing the foot and then sending the back knee down before releasing all the way back come forward and then pop up into our pyramid so that little triangle and then extend the right leg out behind you coming into our prep three so taking the arms up to the side though with crane arms and then exhale take the hands back down to the floor sinking back down into the back knee coming into all fours we're going to ground down now so we're going to come down this time into the left side forearm Draw the left foot up to the sky, grab hold of the right hand, so it be your toes or to the outside of that foot. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale. Now as you exhale, release, draw the knees back down, coming into the forearms, walk the hands back into the hands, and then step the left leg to the outside of the left hand. Inhale, lift the chest up, open up the knee, and then take your hands inside that left leg, finding that little slightly deeper stretch and opening the torso. Come back down onto your forearms. Nice deep breath in, draw the right foot towards your bottom, inhaling and exhaling. Walk the hands back in, send the bump back one last time, wave the body forward and into our cobra. Roll those shoulders down the back, tuck the toes in and come back into down dog. Nice deep breath in, guys. Exhaling. And now walking the hands all the way back to the feet. Roll the body up to the sky. Reach the arms up high to the sky. Find this baby back bend. And then little side stretch 
for one and then over to the other side for two. So opening up the lats, opening up the front side body, coming into a cactus shape with the arms and then sweep the arms forward. Inhale, opening into cactus shape and sweep the arms forward. Inhale, cactus. Exhale, forward. Inhale. And then from here, exhaling, grab the hands behind the base of the head. And we're just going to open up the chest, drawing the elbows back, inhaling. And as you exhale, draw the elbows in. Deep breath in, open up the elbows. Exhale, draw the elbows in. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. And this time, roll the body all the way down the legs. So we're really lengthening through the back of the neck, the back itself, and the back of the hamstrings. Deep breath in and exhale. Inhale. Ground the hands down again. And then when you're ready, Take a nice deep breath in, just shaking off that head side to side, up and down. And we're going to take our body forward. So nice deep breath in, exhaling out. Walk the hands forward and let's come into our plank. And I'm going to take a kind of modified wild thing here. So just stepping over the leg, opening up the chest. And then release, come all the way back round. Now keeping the foot back, we're scooting over and opening into Wild Thing on the opposite side. Exhale. And from here, bending into the knees, let's jump forward, looking ahead. So keeping our balance on our toes, placing our hands to heart centre for the grounding. Draw the knees out to the side and then see if you can reach above you. Inhale and exhale. So wherever you want to hold your hands, either above you or by your chest. And then from here, we're going to exhale and slowly lower down to the mat. So releasing the knees out to the side and bring the arms out nice and wide. Hold it here. Breathe. You did such good work here, guys, today. Coming into our cross leg position, I hope you found that space into the hips, into your shoulders, into your torso. Let's take a nice little twist to the right now, taking the left hand to the outside of the knee, right arm behind you, and then let's switch to the opposite side. Great work. I hope you enjoyed this session today. Do let me know how you got on. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.